Well, everyone, it is Friday, July the 7th, 2023. I am Doug. It is time to play Wordle. And also, it is, of course, Fearless Friday. <laughs> uh, so, of course, let's get uh, anyone caught up who's new to the channel, the show, on Fearless Friday. We do two things. Number one, we turn hard mode on. Give it a little extra challenge, and we intentionally use a very difficult starting word, sometimes from viewers, sometimes from past episodes of our special show's Hard Word Challenge. Please check it out. It's got its own playlist on our YouTube channel. You'll enjoy it, I promise. Uh, but this week, we're going to go with N.D. Kenny, who says, Hey, Doug, got a Fearless Friday word for some time? Oxbow. Sounds interesting. Uh, so let's give that a go. Oxbow it is... Uh, and let's see what we get. Oxbow gets us an O out of position uh, on our first guess. So, of course, being hard word, we must play at least an O. Uh, and obviously, we're going to want to try it in the second, third, or fifth spot. Now, I suppose what we could do here to get uh, creative, uh, because it's been a, a successful strategy uh, recently is we could try a word with OO in the second and the third spot um, in order to uh, almost certainly reveal the position of the O. We know there's only one O in this word uh, because the second O in Oxbow is gray. Uh, so let's see if we did something like loose. L-O-S-E. We'll also get L-S and E looked at. And again, we'll almost certainly uh, figure out... Well, we, we, we we're guaranteed to know because if both O's and loose are gray, we know the O is at the end. So we will guarantee at least one letter to be locked in. Um, so let's go with loose next and see what happens. Now, of course, this is eval. We know there are no two O's in this word, so it can't be the answer, but we're hoping for information. So uh, let's see what we get with loose. Loose gets us all right. The answer to that mystery, the O, is in fact in the second position. We've also exhausted L, S, and E, so that's good. Uh, we have A, I, and U left on the vowel side of things. Um, I suspect one of those uh, letters is going to be in our answer. Uh, how about something like point? Point is good. It uh, can't be moist because we've tested the S and loose. And I'm also uncomfortable with that word, so we won't say that again in this episode. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, we could go with... Hmm. You know, actually, I kind of like point. I got to tell you, I like the word point here. Um... But I also acknowledge that there's a lot of other really good letters. How about torch? Torch is another one. Yeah, you know what? I like that one better. T, R, C, and H being looked at. I think that's my preference here. So between point and torch, yeah, I think I am going to go with torch. Uh, and again, it could very well be the answer. You never know. Uh, so let's see what we got. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word torch? No, it's not, but look at that. We pick up the T. Uh, we know the T is in there. Now, that actually works for point. Uh, so maybe that's the next place I've got to go here. We're halfway through our guesses, so we're not thrilled with that. But uh, I don't mind getting the P, I, and N looked at here. Um, I'm hoping I'm not moving too fast and missing things. I don't think I am. I think point is the best thing to do next. So we will try that and see if this guess is on point. <clears throat> Anyhow, <laughs> is the answer to today's puzzle the word point? No, it's not, but okay. A little bit of forward movement here as now we have the letter N involved. It's going to be in the first or third position. Oh, I know we only have two guesses left, but boy, something jumps out really quickly here. Uh, putting the end in that third spot, I see, <clears throat> to quote the great Homer Simpson, donuts, or donut singular. Um, oh, now, of course, if it's not right, we're going to be down to our last guess. We can, uh, but what we will know 
If we go down to the last guess, we at least will know where the Annie is, for what it's worth. Um, and I do like donut, though. I mean, I like donuts in real life. But, um, but I also like them here quite a bit. So I think I'm going to, again, with a little nervousness, go with it. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word donut? Yes, it is. There we go. All right. Uh, close to the edge, but we got there. Donut, it is another Fearless Friday in the books. And D. Kenny, thank you so much uh, for your suggestion. Gave us a little bit of a thrill ride there, but we got through it in one piece. Folks, hope you're having a great week. Again, i uh, love to hear your hard uh, Fearless Friday words that you'd like to suggest in the comments. Let us know how you did today. Did you get the donut? We'd love to know. Uh, hope you're having a good one. We'll see you tomorrow with some more Wordle.